Okay, so this is my first attempt at this. We're gonna see how, how well this goes. Um, I got a box from newkadia.com and we're just gonna see how it goes. You know, this is one of those things where we're gonna learn on the fly and just get it out there. So, you know, we can see how these things are gonna go. So first things first, I'm literally just opening it now. And you can see closed, but you can hear the books fumbling around in there. So that's not a good thing. So let's see if there was any damage or if what came in, because I don't even remember. So, okay. Yep, I got one that said that an item was re refunded because it wasn't available. I knew that already. And let's see. So, first one, extreme, number zero. And I got this because, number one, it was only a dollar eighty-four, and because it contains, a, you know, a bunch of previews of Todd McFarlane stuff. Um, no, not Todd McFarlane. Uh, Rob Liefeld. Rob Liefeld. Yes, Rob Liefeld. And I just thought, you know, that would be a pretty cool thing to have a bunch of previews. And this was a mail-in item. Now. This was listed as near mint minus with cover tears, tiny indents. Okay, tiny indents, but let's see if you can see right up here, there's a tear. Here you saw maybe is a ding, but other than that, not so bad. Corners are fairly sharp, except you can see that there's on the corner, there's some white. Maybe you can see, I don't know. And on the bottom, I don't know if you can really see, but that front, the bottom corner is not that great either. So, you know, this is the problem I have with them. They are very loose with determinations of grades. Um, I've been very vocal of, of that in the past. Um, next one, I bought this just for the hell of it. I have honestly never purchased it, before, you know, never read the book before, never anything like that, but I thought this was pretty cool. And this is bone number one, the image reprints which I thought was really, really cool to have. And again, this cost me three bucks. Uh, this was listed as near mint. And to be honest, this one actually deserves that grade. The corners are all sharp. There's no, you know, no bindery tears. There's, eh, the back has a, has a little bit of an issue, let's call it. But for three bucks, you know, it is what it is. Uh, then I got Ultimates number, two, well, Ultimates two, number six. And this one says near mint also. Near mint, so, okay. Cover looks pretty much free of any damage. Corners are nice. Uh, Ultimates, mm, Ultimates 2, number 6. Um, honestly, for the life of me, I cannot remember what the significance of this book was. Um, what did I pay for this? I think this one I paid $6 for. Not really 100% sure. Well, again... Let's see if we can find, uh, let's see. So we, I just go to Key Collector 
you know, they have a lot of stuff. If not, I would go to cover price, but key collector is generally a little bit more um, well-rounded. Um, so ultimate two, and we see number six is, oh, okay, the first, the origin of the first firmament and the origin of the celestials. So why not? You know, we know that, you know, in terms of the MCU, we have some, you know, galactic stuff, you know, why not go for it? You know, it, it couldn't hurt. Or maybe it could. But for a couple dollars, actually, you know what? That one, I believe, was half price. So six and change, I paid three dollars for that. That's not, uh, that's not anything too terrible. For three bucks, who cares? It's, you know, if we get any return on value of it, we get a little re re return. Um, then we have... Young Avengers, the first series, number five. This is supposed to be near mint minus. And this is the first appearance of the third vision, which was Iron Lad. And he's, you know, later on is Kang. So we know Kang is coming to the MCU. We know that, um, you know, all these Young Avengers are there. And it's also the first partial cover appearance of Kate Bishop. And we know that Kate Bishop has already seen her series, and you know enough to said about that. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna talk about the series or anything like that. So that's Young Avengers number five. Um, honestly, it is decently clean. Um, with these newer books, you know, the pages, I, I, I can't see how they cannot be white because the type of material that the pages are made out of. Um, it's not like they're paper, you know, like in the 80s, 90s, you know, all the way back to the 60s or 70s. Um, you know, these are glossy paper, so it's a lot easier to keep them clean and white. Uh, then, no, these are just like a couple, you know, personal type uh, things. I got a couple. Oh, wait, the Young Avengers number five, I paid $3.90 for. So, you know. Why not? If it's there, why not? Then two copies of Secret Wars 2, number five. I bought these because growing up, I'm a 90s kid, 80s, 90s kid. Um, you know, New Mutants, Boom Boom, first appearance of Boom Boom. If, you know, if they go with any kind of in-depth character um, digging, you know, aside from what they did in Deadpool 2 for X-Force, uh, you know, we might get Boom Boom and Richter or some of these other guys, Skids, you know, some of the, um, the longer term characters with the team. So, but I just liked Boom Boom. I, you know, I thought she was cool. You know, what can I say? Um, then I bought two copies of X-Men vs. The Avengers from the 87 series, I believe. One is Newsstand. And one's direct. Both cost me the same price. Both cost me uh, six fifty. So nothing too bad there. Um, and again, you know, I bought it because if we get these guys in the MCU, you see that. But just in general, X Men vs Avengers was a pretty cool thing, you know. And you gotta buy what you like. And I like that. Uh, my problems. Both of them were near mint, supposedly. Uh, but see, this is where things get hairy with the grading that I find from Lucadia. If we open this up, near mint, there's, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a tear right there. There's a tear in the cover and they, they mark it as near mint. Um, cover tears is listed tiny indentations. They miss so many things. I mean, I don't know if you can see at the top, you could probably see from that reflection that there's, you know, there's folds up there. There's creasing. That's not listed on there. Um, you know, so you know, what could you do? Here's up here. 
you know, there's a print defect. It's still listed as, you know, as near mint minus. Um, obviously, a print defect is a little bit easier to, to, um, to get away with, but, you know, the pages nice and white. They're bone white, if you ask me. So something like that, that's a bonus, um, even though they say that the pages are white. But I also find a lot of times that what they call white, I find to be off-white or sometimes even tan. So it's, it's one of those things. Um, I happen to be a very strict grader when I get my things because when I buy something, I want to get what I'm told I'm getting. And, you know, one of the other problems I have with shopping with them is that hardly anything has pictures on their site. So you have to take it site, site unseen. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Now, the last one I got was Avengers 296. This is from the original series, obviously. Uh, this was the first meeting of Eros and um, She-Hulk. Now, this was listed as a very fine plus, And they said that off-white to white pages. I would actually consider these to be white pages. Um, you, know, you probably can't tell that well in the, you know, from the camera. But they're pretty white. So I'm not too worried about that. Um, corners are nice and sharp. There's no color breaking. There's a couple of spine ticks that are not color broken. The cover is clean. There's, it's not dirty. The back is, a, you know, back's another whole other story. Uh, you can see there's dirt there and there's dirt there. And of course, is the cover clean? They rated it a six out of eight and say, yes, it's clean. I would have said, no, it's got dirt, you know? Obviously, I wouldn't have said that it's a zero, but I would have said, yeah, it's dirty. At least mark it on there. And that's another thing I find about them is that they don't look at the backs of the books. They look at the fronts, they don't look at the interiors, and this is what happens when you get that. You buy a book and, and you're like, oh, okay, clean cover. No, it's not, it's dirty, it's got brown crap on it. What are you gonna do? Um, you know, it's it's a it's a risk you take, but that's that's everything. That was the whole box. Um, honestly, I'm pretty happy with everything that I got. Looking at as a whole, sure, could it have been a little more clearer in the descriptions? Would it have been better to have a picture of the front and the back covers? Uh, a picture of the interior pages so that I could, you know, or anybody could see whether they're actually brown or white or cream or whatever color. Sure. But, you know, I mean, sometimes you just have to, you know, if you see a good deal, you see a good deal. I mean, I paid a total of $39, $38 for all those. And that's including the book that never came. So you figure I paid 35 for everything. Not so bad, but you know, let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if, you know, if there's anything that I could do to make it easier for you guys to see the books, uh, if the audio is great or, you know, anything, or just say, Hey, you know, those are some cool books. I like those too. All right. Thanks. And I will see you next time.